Welcome to the Architect Falcon Order Focus by Optic Fitting and Prescribing Guide. The Falcon is a 4x Keplerian telescope with a wide 12.5 degree field of view. It focuses smoothly, quietly, and virtually immediately from 13 inches to optical infinity. It is a true bioptic design, allowing the user to switch their view from the carrier to the telescope eyepiece with just a slight tilt of the head. Weighing only 3.2 ounces, it's very comfortable to wear. Its focusable eyepiece will cover refractions to plus or minus 8 diopters. Eyepiece corrections are indicated for refractions above 8 diopters or 3 diopters of cylinder. However, if after adjusting the eyepiece focus, the patient reports clear vision at all distances, an eyepiece correction will not be required. The Falcon uses state-of-the-art, time-of-flight infrared technology to focus almost immediately at any distance from 13 inches to optical infinity. It will operate for approximately eight hours using its separate rechargeable USB battery. The Falcon is designed to be easy to fit and prescribe. The power port is located on the side of the telescope opposite from the eyepiece. It attaches to the frame with the bridge mounting assembly on the back of the telescope. The eyepiece is adjustable for refractions using the eyepiece focus tool inserted into the eyepiece focus port, making demonstrating the Falcon fast and convenient. The Falcon is attached to the frame using the bridge mounting assembly. By loosening the two silver bridge screws on the back of the frame with the Phillips screwdriver, the telescope can be moved easily right and left to position the eyepiece for the sighting eye. There is no need to remove the screws completely. To switch the Falcon to be used by the other eye, loosen the bridge screws a little bit more and the Falcon can be easily slipped off the mounting rod and flipped over for the other eye. Then, simply slide the falcon back onto the mounting rod and retighten the bridge screws just a little so that the falcon stays in position when moved. There are just three easy steps to position the falcon for your patient. In step one, after you have positioned the falcon for the proper eye, slide the telescope right or left to center the eyepiece above the patient's pupil. I prefer to have the patient raise their head so I can look under the telescope to position the eyepiece. In step two, adjust the frame's nose pads to raise or lower the frame on the patient's nose so that the bottom of the eyepiece aligns with the top of the pupil. Lastly, in step three, ask the patient to dip their head down to look into the eyepiece and adjust the viewing angle of the telescope by angling it up or down so that the line of sight of the user is parallel to the seam on the side of the telescope case. When positioned properly, the patient will report that they can see a full round field of the telescope. Now remove the falcon and tighten the two rear bridge screws until the falcon is snug but without over tightening it. It's desirable to use the head strap provided to keep the falcon in place without slipping down the nose. Tighten the bead on the back so it is snug but not tight. When the patient is looking beneath the telescope through the carrier lenses, the falcon will be tilted slightly upward. Attach the falcon to its battery with the USB cable provided. We recommend that you only use batteries provided by Akitec as they have been tested to provide the proper current. The smaller end of the cable will snap into the power port on the side of the telescope. It does not normally need to be removed. Clips on the frame temple are provided to hold the cable in place. Simply insert the large end of the cable into either port on the top of the battery and the Falcon will start immediately. When pressing the button on the side edge of the battery, the number of lights illuminated will indicate the percent of the battery's charge. There is no power switch. To turn the Falcon off, simply remove the cable from the battery. Charge the battery overnight as you would your cell phone. When first starting, the Falcon will run a brief self-check. Once complete, ask the patient to look through the Falcon eyepiece at a visual acuity chart positioned at about 20 inches away. Insert the eyepiece focus tool and rotate it to move the eyepiece in or out until the patient reports that the focus is sharp. Turning the eyepiece inward will correct for myopia. Turning it outward will correct for hyperopia. Once properly focused, Ask the patient to look at another visual acuity chart about 20 feet away to confirm that the focus remains correct. Refine the focus if necessary. 
When the patient reports that both the distance and near focus are sharp, the focus adjustment is complete. Do not force the eyepiece focus beyond its freely moving range. This can damage the focus mechanism. The ring on the eyepiece, when positioned to just touch the eyepiece collar, will set the eyepiece at approximately the neutral focus position. The Falcon is provided with a set screw to lock the eyepiece focus in place. It is shipped to you with the set screw loose. Once the eyepiece focus has been confirmed, remove the Falcon from the patient's head and lock the set screw in place using the Allen wrench provided. Tighten it until it can no longer turn using moderate pressure. Do not over tighten. Please remember to loosen the set screw if the eyepiece needs to be refocused. Finally, close the focus access port by inserting the plug provided into the side of the telescope chassis. The Falcon contains a focus override button that enables the user to control the Falcon's focus. By pressing the button once, the focus will hold at its current focus distance. Pressing it again will reactivate the autofocus. By pressing the button twice in a row, the focus will shift to optical infinity and hold, allowing the user to see through a window, for instance. Pressing the button again will reactivate the focusing. Unplugging and then replacing the battery cable will also reset the focus system. The Falcon eyepiece extends through the carrier lens to provide the widest field of view possible. When ordering the system, the eyepiece position must be specified as the carrier lens will be slotted to allow the eyepiece to pass through. Once you have confirmed the ideal position for the eyepiece, use a millimeter rule to measure from the center of the bridge to the center of the eyepiece to specify the proper eyepiece position. The slot is made slightly oversized to allow for fine tuning at the dispensing visit. We recommend that you prescribe carrier lenses consistent with what your patient normally wears. Consider a bifocal if they normally wear one. We suggest that you avoid trifocals and progressives. Be certain to provide at least 10 millimeters from the bottom of the eyepiece to the top of the bifocal segment. Architect's frame tech sheet lists suggested bifocal segment heights for all of its frames. If you're not certain what to specify, just write standard and Architect's order department will position it appropriately. Remember that the eyepiece corrections are indicated for powers above 8 diopter sphere and 3 diopter cylinder. Architect provides a convenient step-by-step -step order form to make placing your order easy and convenient. We include prescriber fitting guides and patient user guides with each order. Architect's website offers a range of patient-centered as well as professional support information. We also offer printed information brochures that you can provide to your patient. And as always, we welcome your inquiries and tech support calls. We hope this information has been helpful. Thank you so much for your interest in the Architect Falcon Autofocus by Optic Telescope.